Kevin Steve from Hollywood, California. We are so excited to be here today. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, what can I say? Crystal Rucker. Crystal Rucker herself is here. All those conventions, all those conferences, all let's let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If you're watching the broadcast right now, we want you to start sharing this video, start getting the word out. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bless this week a hundred people with a Bluetooth speaker. How about that? And 25 people. No, not not let me not do 25. Let me do 10. 10 people. We're going to give you something extra special too. Four people are going to get a trip to Las Vegas. How about that? Very simple. But you got to start sharing. So you got to start sharing. You can start commenting. Crystal Rucker is here. You've seen her everywhere singing. And now she can sing in your living room every single day, courtesy of IR Music Group. Boy, what a wonderful, wonderful artist. Let me tell you something about Crystal. What is gospel music without Crystal Rucker? They hurting. But guess what? The answer is now here. Brother Steve from Hollywood, California. I'm going to open the comments night right now. Let's crank it up. Let's get going. We're live from Hollywood, California. Let's go. It's time from Hollywood. for Crystal Rucker, y'all. Let's do it. From Hollywood. Yo, DJ. Are you? Your DJ has only just begun. Hello, I'm Bishop T.D. Jakes, and you're watching Brother Steve TV. Hey, it's Latoya Luckett, and you're watching Brother Steve TV. This is Rance Allen, and you're watching my friend, Brother Steve TV. Hey y'all, this is Leandra Johnson and you're watching Brother Steve TV. Hi. This is Body Dark Child Jerkin. This is Chris Tucker. This is Kurt Franklin. And you are watching Brother Steve. And you watch Brother Steve. Brother Steve TV. Stay tuned. From Hollywood, California, you're watching Brother Steve TV. Praise Jam Party, yep, it's going up. Brother Steve, the Sunshine Band, that's what's up. Him and his crew, they really make the stations nervous. Brother Steve deliver hits like the Postal Service. Must I remind you of his credentials? Brother Steve, go hard, he go large, he's monumental. That's it, it's over. A finality, call the Paul Ferris, the station's buried in Cali. 360, going hard for the Lord, it's the Praise Jam Party. Brother Steve is in charge for all the hot exclusives and the brand new styles. Tune in every week, adjust your radio dial to the most unpredictable show on the airwaves. From the land of the stars to the home of the brave. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 Brother Steve from Hollywood, California. I'm going to bring him in right now, the CEO and president. He may correct me if I'm wrong. But the president, the inventor, the creator, one of the greatest gospel writers and artists of all times, Bishop Norma Hutchins. Bishop, how you doing, Bishop? Hey, what's up, Brother Steve? How you doing, man? Man, I'm talking to a walking, talking, preaching <laughs> Miracle, yo. So how you doing? How you doing? Man, you know what? Any bad day above ground is better than any day beneath ground. You know what? I've never heard it that way before, but I'm going to start using that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I got to start using that. As a matter of fact, you know what? I see the baby grand in the background. I'm going to watch what I say because you're going to write a song. <laughs> oh, <hold on. laughs> you know, it's going to be another hit. Let's oh, talk okay. about how you've been, but how is IR Music Group? I mean, like I tell people, you're way before your time. You're way ahead of your time. You're like a modern day Andre Crouch. I'm wow, just thinking man. of stuff. You know, I don't say that to everybody. So I'm going to say it to you. Andre thought of stuff, but like, what was you thinking when you made this song? Wow. That's oh, crazy. Because oh, you know, you, your thought process is like, who would have thunked that? Yes, I said thunk it is my show. Who would have thunked that up? 
you know, to do what you do. Let's talk about IR Music Group, a record label. And now you said this. You said the other day, now I don't have to be an artist. I'm loving being an executive. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, all over the world, world, Bishop. Tell me about that. Well, you you know my history, man. For 35 years, I've done music ministry, recording, and uh, I was signed to a major label. I was signed to an independent label. I did 16 CDs and uh, two Grammy Awards and one gold, one platinum, and I've done enough. I've done enough. And so I talked to my wife and I said, honey, I think it's time to take off the artist hat and put on the executive hat and uh, and help up and coming artists and uh, help keep gospel music alive. And so we created IR Music Group, which stands for Okay, Bishop, your audio went out on this. Gifted, gifted, talented people. But man, I tell you, I was blessed when we were able to sign Crystal Rucker. Uh, she has a hot single out right now called "Just uh, Called Your Grace. And I believe it's going to bless the world. Well, Bishop, your audio went out on us when you told us what the name IR stands for. What does the name IR stand for? Yes. Well, I, IR stands for Impact Records. And that's our vision is to impact the kingdom of God with music that ministers to the body of Christ. Now, Bishop, before we bring on Crystal Rucker, and I'm going let me let me get let me get Crystal's water ready right now so she can sing some acapolo for real quick. Now, it ain't gotta be from the new record, but it helps. So let me ask you this, Bishop. What makes IR different? Let's talk about tiny of artists. The benefit. Most record companies are set up to benefit the record label and not the artist. Tell me about right. your people. What makes IR different? Well, one of the things that uh, 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 is totally different is most record company executives, they've never, they never walked a mile in the shoes of an artist. Wow. They're not artists. So I've been an artist on a major label and an independent label. So number one, I know how I should have been treated. I know mm. how I wanted to be treated. But now that God has put us in this position, one of our goals is to is to show gospel artists how they are supposed to be treated. And uh, they're not to be used as pawns and tokens. But mm. our job is to undergird them and to help them develop the gift and the ministry that God has given to them. And uh, and and not only that, but at the end of the day, they ought to get paid. They ought to be blessed financially. And we do this by being fair. Being uh -oh, fair. Say, say that again, being what, Bishop? Yes, being fair. Being fair, above board, above the table, you see. And, and, and not only that, but for new artists that's coming along, we're not just going to be fair, but we're going to teach them the business. We're going to teach them publishing. We're going to teach them uh, 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 copyright. We're going to teach them what mechanicals is all about, how to how to own your masters. And and we want to teach them so that when the day comes, that they say, hey, you know what, Norman, I got it. I think I want to do it on my own. Then you go do it on your own, you know. And uh, we would have made a major investment in to your ministry so we'll be an extension of every person that you bless in your future so hold on real quick bishop let me get this right and i'm gonna let crystal she can share this on her page and share this interview with her friends my sister wanted to say hello we'll open the comments up right now if you want to say hello to bishop Hutchins or crystal feel free to write us a comment in the comment box but bishop you mean when an artist Sells five thousand CDs. The record label is not going to say, "Okay, here's your three dollars." No, I'm not doing that. No, we're, we're splitting everything 50, 50 Huh? Wait a minute, you can't do that. That's that's not the industry. We're we're, we're splitting publishing 50 50 We're splitting mechanicals fifty fifty, and we're splitting retail fifty fifty. And 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 we don't withhold the budget until it's recouped. The artists still get paid uh, through their retail sales and mechanicals and publishing. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is not an April Fool's joke. This is reality. This is our, our music. So you mean if my friend, if my sister writes a song with IR and they use an IR marketing machine to put it out, you get 50, she get 50, you get 50 sales. So everybody's happy all the way around. Yes. Yes. Everybody gets blessed. Everybody gets blessed. So you can leave a legacy, not just of music, but you'll be able to leave wealth to your to uh, your lineage, to your family, your generation. That's what it's all about. People have, got, people have become millionaires on the backs of artists. Ooh. And then artists go to their grave with nothing to show for it. That's not the way God intended it for it to be. Ooh. No, be fair. And, and the, truth, the truth be told, Steve, the test testimony is not going to come out of my mouth. The testimony is going to come from the artist that we signed to the label. You give them about a good two years on the label, and I promise you, they will be the best testimony uh, about uh, how IR Music Group has treated them. Now, you said, uh, you said a headline for a press release. Record labels have become millionaires off the bat of artists, and the artists go to their grave. We got to have a musical to get you in the ground. Yes, yes, yes. That, uh, uh, as, as we all know, uh, too many, too many gospel artists. That's one of the reasons why artists go from label to label. It's because they're not treated fairly. You see, and uh, and and it's just not fair. And I promise God that if I ever got the opportunity to be a record company executive, that we will show gospel artists how they are supposed to be treated. I'm about one minute away of bringing in Crystal. So some people don't know. Let's talk about some of your hit songs that you've done and your Grammy uh, Award. Well, we got uh, God's Got a Blessing with my name on it. Uh, Jesus, I love you. We got I Really Love You. We got uh, uh, we got Emmanuel, uh, Press Toward the Mark. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on and on. But you got a Grammy Award. As a writer of the song by Brooklyn Tabernacle, my squad. Yes, yes. Actually, Brooklyn Tabernacle did two of my songs. <laughs> yeah, two. And so you know that they is, got Grammy. <laughs> so that, so that that encourages the artist. Let me get the gospel dog in here. That encourages the artist to become better writer. That's right. And not only that, brother Steve, but a lot of people don't know it. But I have a song on the movie soundtrack, uh, "Radio" by Cuban Gooden Jr. One of one of them old churchy songs. They got it in this movie. Really? Yes, sir. But let me say this: while people are trying to get their stuff together now to start sending you stuff, you are handpicked. The artist, because you got to live a sanctified and holy life. Am I correct, or just open to everybody? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, that goes together. That goes together. I'm gonna tell you something. Our job as a record company is to create the platform. Mm -hmm. It is God's job through the anointing and the right is living and obedience of the artist to propel them into orbit. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Let's bring yes, in sir. Crystal Rucker here real quick. Tweet this and set this up. Crystal Rucker, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. We got a little audio, I think, on one of the ends. But y'all can hear me clearly, can't you? I could hear you. Um... When Bishop was talking, I could hear him better. Okay. Uh, but now it's gone. Yeah, I think I had to mute Bishop's microphone. We'll mute his mic and bring him back in and out when we, we need to, Crystal. Um, Crystal, tell me about this experience with our, our music group. How has it been working with Bishop Normatches? It has been absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, Bishop has done everything that he said he would do. Um, my con contract stated absolutely everything that he said 
in our, our conversation before I signed with him. Um, I believe Bishop is saved, his wife is saved, and they are integral people. Yes. And I am so glad to finally find a home that I feel like I am I, I'm home. <laughs> I feel comfortable and I feel um I feel like they have my back. I feel like they're they're pushing me to do things that I haven't really done before. And um I've I've written some songs, I've co-written a couple of songs, but now he's pushing me to become a writer. And listening to him and you in your interview before me is is telling me why I, that I should be a writer. Wow. <laughs> you know, you you said it yourself. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Let, let, you let me ask you this: You've been singing for years, Crystal. Years, and do yes. you do you ever feel that record label people have hyped you over the years, and the record labels have looked over you or assumed you was with the label? But Bishop Hutchins came to the plate and said, "I'm gonna put up the money." Yeah. And I'm gonna invest into you to make it happen. Let's get Bishop. You might have to reconnect your mic, Bishop. So he came to the plate to say, Yeah, I'm gonna put up the money and invest to you. Think about that. I think there has been plenty of assumptions that I was already signed. Um, I think that's what has been go going around for years um, with me. I've had some good experiences, and I'm grateful for the things and the people that had brought me to this point. Um, but I haven't had a lot of record labels that I've been with. So um, yeah, I've had a few people that I've worked with in the past um, that were trying to uh, catapult me to another level. And, um, but I haven't had a lot of experiences with record labels. So I've been very cautious about that. And I think people have made plenty of assumptions that I was already signed to someone. So, so for so that reason. You, now, when Bishop approached you, now I, I know the question he asked you, and I'm not going to put it out there publicly, but when he approached you, you had to sit and think about it for a minute. He said, wow, wait a minute. He's right. Because he made yeah. a very strong point about your music ministry and your career. You know, how do you feel Absolutely. being with the label now? I feel um, I was very apprehensive in the beginning uh -huh. because of, of, of just not knowing, you know, because like I said, because of many of assumptions, not many offers had gone for it. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, um, listening to what he was saying, it was almost like, are you sure you're going to do this? Yeah. You yeah. know, I was, <laughs> so I was a little apprehensive. But when I prayed and um, I talked to my family and um, my mother, of course, and we prayed and my manager prayed and we said, you know, we're, you, we're going to just take a stab and, and just walk by faith because I believe he's saying what he's going to do. And when I got my contract, I was assured that everything that he had stated in conversation was in my contract. Now, Bishop. Before we have premiere a clip of this song, God's Grace, you stated in two years, if that artist wants to move on, <laughs> they're free to move on. Am I correct, Bishop? Yeah. See, what I was saying to you is uh, I was just using that as a scenario. So so if 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 something come along that's that's that has a greater opportunity than I can do, why would I hold that artist back? Wow. wow. Why would I do that? <laughs> no, you don't wow. do that. No, because you know what? One water, one plant, but God gets the increase. That's right. And so no matter, no matter what they achieve in the future, the history will always say that we were That's a part it. of it. That's it. And I just believe this, Steve. If you treat people <laughs> right, they'll treat you right. That's right. Basically, ain't gonna want to go nowhere. It's gonna be six years. That's right. That's well, right. I mean, you know, that's that's my vision. My goal, my goal, my wife and I goal is this: that you will be so happy and so pleased to be with our music group that if the majors come after you, you look at them and say, "You must be crazy." 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on one second, Bishop. Because of your grace, I feel that I love the Lord because you bless me and I'm no longer bored. I'm living in the manual <laughs> for my life and I'm running to make a hundred. Bishop, I just wrote a song. I can sign to your label. You know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Crystal, now you got a label behind you. That's right. They took you in the studio. Norma himself showed up at the sessions, flew there. I mean, you all you had to do was to sing. Tell me about and she killed this song. It. I, oh, I know. I know. She's a, she's a professional in the studio now. <laughs> Trust me. Yes, I work. I know how to work, and I don't come to play when I get to the studio. Um, I've been but it felt good, well. Crystal. It felt good. But, You're not singing for nobody else's record. This is yours. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And the, the song was such a match for me. When he sent it to me, I said. And the thing is that the other thing that I love about Bishop is that he said to me, "If you don't like it, if you don't love it, then we shouldn't do it because you have to to love the songs that you sing right. so that you will want to sing them." And when he sent me your grace, I said, I love it. Because I know that I'll sing that. Because if it wasn't for God's gr grace, where will any of us be? Where would yes. any of us be? Well, you know what? I'm going to just play a snippet of that song right now. <laughs> just a snippet. And I'm going to explain to people why I'm playing a snippet. Because two reasons. One, I want you to go purchase the song. And number two, if I play it too long on Bookface, then they're going to say, oh, take it down. So we're going to play a snippet of where we're going to go into the vamp, and y'all can hear it, but she can do something a cappella for us. Just a little, <laughs> some, some, cause you know, Chris, I'm telling you, Chris, I'm telling you, when you, I, as many conventions as I've done and travel, when you get up to sing and the organist hit that organ, you t turn all the banjos off to, because you sing from your soul and you give Praise us, God. And you never forgot or forget church. If you can't sing a hymn or you can't sing a devotion, you need to go somewhere and sat down because then we <laughs> trying to do all this stuff. And Bishop Norman, let me put out what you told me a couple of weeks ago. Your music is not dated. Explain that to the artists watching right now how to record a song and your music is not dated with the Juno keyboard. You got to turn your mic on, Bishop. Your mic is muted. Here we go. You're going to turn it. You're going to turn your mic on, Bishop. You unmute your mic. That button right there. All right. You hit the wrong button. That's the camera. The next one's the microphone. All right. Thank God we're not in the studio. But uh, <laughs> what we're going to do is Bishop's going to hit that button on his phone to unmute the microphone because he's still muted. And he just said, I'm just going to go off. Okay. You got to wait for Bishop to come back on. But Crystal, tell me how it makes you feel that um, you're doing this song. Tell me about the Bishop came back on quick. I ain't mad. Bishop, you're back. All right, Bishop, you're there. And he gone again. All right. You know, you live in that part of the country. Sometimes the internet may go in and out. Yeah. Crystal, what do you want to say to your supporters out there who are watching you right now? The first thing I want to say is thank you for your support. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for waiting for me mm. to release new music into the earth. Um, I'm grateful that I've had supporters for years and they have really really supported me down through the years. This will be my 25th year. Whoa! Yeah. Yes, wow. Yeah, so I am so grateful for you. Thank you for supporting me down through the years. Thank you for your consistency, for your loyalty, for your prayers, and all of those things. And now we have new music, finally. So yeah, thank you for that. being there. Thank you for being there. Richard, as we celebrate, that's a whole new twist to now 25th year. Anniversary, Bishop. Tell me about dating their music in the recording studio as we get ready to premiere this song. So basically, okay. when I'm ready to play, 
Can can you hear me now? I hear you now, Bishop Parker. Okay, great. Well, listen, when you use synthesizers and 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 synthetic instruments based on the date that that instrument was created, like a DX7. Yeah. Or a Yamaha DX7. If you use that today, then you've already dated your music. But if you use the piano, if you use drums, guitar, organ, wow. bass, you can't date that. Wow. You can't date is that. Is that why? Is that why? I'm going to say it the right way. Is that why you have mastered studying the Motown material? Is that why none of that Motown music is dated? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but you know they still play that music today. So it just reminds you of that era that it was played in, but they still use they use authentic instruments. We are going to play a video clip tribute real quick. And here we go. Get ready for the premiere of Crystal Rucker's new music, God's Grace. And here's a little video clip. Here we go. It's up in 25 years. I know what you was going with that. Coming up. Tell me about this song. What does it mean to you? You know, it has so many meanings, but I know one thing. We all need God's grace. We all need it. And if it wasn't for his grace, where would I be? I know that. And it's it's just it's just amazing how um the, i don't care how much good you do i don't care what 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 you've done bad his grace is sufficient and i'm so grateful for it i'm um, so grateful for his grace his amazing grace his unmerited favor i am just grateful for god's grace and it means it's such a powerful message so I'm grateful for Bishop for pinning that song for me because it's a powerful message and it is church. And you reminded me, Brother Steve, that I am a church girl. All day long. <laughs> now, all day long. I mean, if I see Crystal in the club, she passing out tracks. <laughs> for sure. Crystal, for there sure. Won't, it won't be a, a, a broadcast without Crystal. Giving us a little something, so he, he, he don't have to be from the new record because we want them going by. They can get it everywhere, digital platform, and we're gonna have Bishop come on and announce where they can download it at. But give us okay. a little something, Crystal, real quick. We're gonna bring Bishop back in. There's a little audio interference with his microphone, but we're gonna let you come on in and give us a little something, Crystal. Okay, so since we're talking about God's grace, and my song is Your Grace, I just want to piggyback off of that, and I'll just say. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. <laughs> For it was grace that brought my liberty. I do not know just why he came 
to love me so. He looked beyond oh, 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 all of my faults and saw my needs. I had to come in on the end. <laughs> that way I can put on my resume. Brother Steve, son, yes, we the record. With me. You sing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, we're going to bring you back in. Tell us, and Crystal, you're going to be singing in Ohio. You're going to be on the road everywhere. You're singing in Florida. Coming in July, yeah. you're singing in yeah. Ohio. Um, yeah. uh, I heard you're going to be singing for Atlanta. the president as well. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, well you, well, you know I worked with four presidents before. Okay, okay. President right. of the Earth right. War, President of the Sunshine yeah. Band. Okay, President so one of those. One, One of those presidents. Ah, <laughs> president of record label. So, Christian, what yes. the can they download this new song? Bishop Hutchins, where can they download this new song? Can, uh, can you hear me? I hear you. Okay, what was your question again? Where can they download this new release? Okay, it's available on all digital outlets right now. Okay. All digital outlets, and there's something new coming out soon, too. Am I correct? We a full project. Yes, a full project. And when yes. Is yes. we're working on yes. it. We're working on it. That's what we're working on right now. Oh, she has a, perfect. She has, a, Rusty, she has a song that she's written. It's called Answer. Yeah. If, 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 that, if we had that finished before Grace, that probably would have been the single. <laughs> It's called Answer. Oh, I love yeah. that song. Hold on, hold on one second, Bishop. Bishop. Hold on, Bishop. Hello? I'm answering your call. Okay, yeah, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Bishop. Bishop, any final words? No, Crystal, any final words? And then we'll have Bishop close this out. Any final words, Crystal, to everybody out there watching and sharing this video? Listen. Again, thank you for your support. Thank you for hanging with me until this project has, till this single has released. But just wait for the final project because it's going to be good, good. So thank you. Thank you for your consistency, for your loyalty over the years. I love you all. Thank you, Brother Steve, for having me. Always, Chris, you're the best. Bishop, any closing words that you want to yes, say? Yes, sir. Well, you know, Steve, uh, we, we couldn't be a record company without an artist. Yeah. And I always refer back to the principle that Bishop Blake taught us. Yeah. He said, visions and dreams are locked into the visions and dreams of others. Mm. And as you unlock someone else's dream, you unlock your own. Wow. That's wow. good. And that's that's good. what we're doing. And we're just honored that Crystal would trust my wife and I enough to give us an opportunity to be a part of her uh, long legacy of music ministry yeah. and our our goal is to help create music that that will outlive her yeah Thank and you. that it will bless multitudes of people long after she's up in heaven uh you can walk around heaven all day if you want but i i'm gonna find me a bitch <laughs> <laughs> When she was released, she was started at 164, and three days later, she's in the top 100. Yes. 
that, that dropped at, at so 164. Good. And then in just about two days and a half, it went from 164 to 99. So what it's going to do next two weeks is going to be amazing. We got to get her up there. It'll be in the 50s. Thank you. Thank right. you. It'll be in the 50s. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. And then we're going to get her all the way to the top five and number one. Yeah. And the blessing, yes, the Brother blessing, Steve. Steve, the blessing <laughs> is we have we have four artists on the label in the top 100. That's something that's really? never been done by independent label. That's unbelievable. Four artists. In, you got a name. Four, yeah, four artists in the top 100 BDS charts. Right now, gotta, name them, Bishop. Name them. Name the other three. Yes, uh, uh, Antoine Hutchins, Nero Foster, and Pastor Donald Ashley. That's unbelievable. And unbelievable. Crystal Rucker. <laughs> we, we look, we, uh, I've given her the nickname Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> so, so Mama don't know how to. Mama don't show. Mama gonna show what twenty years of people. <laughs> Mama Crystal, Mama Crystal. Ah, don't you stop, brother. Anybody go from 164 to 99 in three days? Nobody yeah. but Mama Crystal. Yeah, yeah Mama Crystal. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? Crystal, don't be insulted when somebody sing your song at a 3 o'clock Saturday and you walk in, they jack it up. I'm not I'm not at all bothered by that. Oh, I want them all to sing it. I want everybody to sing it. Sing it. Record it. Whatever. Wrong. Sing it. Sing it. Well, thank y'all so much. Stay on the line. Brother Steve from Hollywood, California. Crystal Rucker, brand new release. God's grace. All of that is in some celebrating 25 years of Crystal Rucker music. We'll be right back. Keep watching. Brother C, share the video. We'll see y'all soon. We go home. We go home.